I'm Adam Paulus, and it's time for another embarrassingly long video from 16bit.com because we're looking at all four classic collection Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. 2012, they're big, they're great. They come individually packaged with a display stand, a quasi-retro card back with old-timey artwork. Uh, they have weapons uh, stand and no weapons trees. The character art closely resembles a lot of the uh, art you saw in the 1990s. The back of the package describes the cartoon show from which they are derived. It's sort of a mashup between the cartoon and the original action figure line. And as you can see, there's a thing you can read if you pause it. Have fun with that. These are your co-cells. There's no shredder figure yet. And as you can see, there's a lot of articulation. Because this video is too long, we're just going to look at Leonardo. Because Leonardo is the leader. He has two katana swords. Can I pronounce things correctly? You can stick them in the uh, scabbards in the back of his belt. They plug right in and most of the figures share pretty much the same sculpt. The amount of detail is good. It's not fantastic, but it's really, 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 really good. And the articulation is just bizarrely great. If you look at the toes, those move. The hands have articulated digits, an articulated ball-jointed thumb. There's like a mid-joint in the palm. He can stand on his head. He can do cartwheels. He has double-jointed everything. Just look at it. It's great. When you start pulling out the articulation, it might actually have more articulation than the package boasts. It says 34. Technically, I count 36 points. What do you find? I don't know. Either way, I'm very impressed by these figures. Uh, the series, of course, each figure has their signature weapons. The display stands have their names. And when you look at the display stands up close, you can see that their mom wrote their name on it, just like their underwear, so they won't lose it. Thanks, Mom. Raphael comes designed with a special belt that have a couple of holsters for his psi weapons. The back of the figure looks like a turtle shell. They all do. Uh, he can hold the weapons in his fingers various menacing ways, just like on the TV show, and frankly, he's awesome. Michelangelo has nunchucks, and of course he looks a little bit more serious than I would expect for the goofball Kawabunga pizza character, because you know we're all Kawabunga on this. The back of the figure's belt has places to plug in the nunchucks, and the detail is really great. I mean, you can see they're a little bit shinier than most. That's because they use real metal, which you don't see a heck of a lot of. And I'm pretty excited by that. And the belt buckle, of course, has to have the letter because that's what we all grew up with. Donatello has his bow staff. He only has one, not two like the original. His purple bandana is there, his straps are there. It looks like Donatello. He doesn't have any magical tools or technology or remote control for the turtle blimp, but he can reach his bow and he looks great. Against other figures, you can see they're much taller than the original Ninja Turtles. They're also sized comparably to Mattel's Classics Toys, Masters of the Universe and DC Universe, and they look good against Marvel Legends and Mortal Kombat. If you like these figures, you can buy action figures like these and more at entertainmentearth.com because it's a toy store and you can buy toys there. If you enjoy this video, please go to 16bit.com. We post a new figure of the day every day. Thanks for your support.